Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Python tutorial. I'm Rudy Lanal, and we are still looking at the Unicurses, Ncurses, and uh, Curses module in Python. So, in this video, I'm finally going to introduce to you guys panels. Now, I've been kind of like really boasting about panels for a long time now, because in all honesty, they're pretty cool. They allow you to do some really nice and nifty things with Ncurses. They keep track of um, windows or kind of like entities that are above and below each other. Like, you can have depth to your window, which is, you can't so much have depth to your window, but if you're acquainted with Game Maker, uh, Yo-Yo Games Game Maker, or like on Windows, that's the idea that I'm getting at. You can have things on top of each other that are physically, or at least in, in the same sort of space. Now, again, that's a really bad explanation, but there's there's a lot that you can do with it, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to show you those today. But before I jump into that, I do want to let you guys know that I'm kind of um, taking a few risks here. The way that I'm presenting this information to you, the way that I'm teaching you the concepts of N-curses, it's, it's very, very scattered because N-curses is so scattered in itself. I'm gonna, probably going to be getting into functions and things that you may or may not have been... You, you could have been able to have learned earlier, and I'm going to get into them later. And they're like things that you can do with Windows, or safety things that you can test to check for whether or not you can actually have color and that sort of thing, or making it so that it doesn't block the screen when you're getting um, keyboard input and that sort of thing. So there's there's plenty to do, but the way that I'm presenting it may or may not be the best order. But it's so scattered that you'll be fine no matter what you do. It's just a way. It's just a matter of like getting through each and everything that we 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 discuss that we we talk about. All right, but that's enough of me rambling. Um, let's get into panels. Okay, so in the last couple of videos we've been creating windows, and windows are the, like, core of a panel. You need a window to have a panel. A panel is actually just a container for the window. So, let's say a window equal new win. <coughs> let's say, how about, um, three lines, um, it can hold about 20 characters, let's say, and it'll start at position 4 or 4. Okay, so, let's add something to that. Window add string window um hey YouTube I would type in subscribe there but uh I don't know about that <laughs> it's a little risky all right now you guys can remember if we created the window we don't actually get to see it on our screen now uh without using anyway the window get ch but we don't want to do that, because we want to be able to see everything that our Ncurses program is doing. Especially if we were to make a game, or a more a fancy program, we want to make sure that we see everything that we're actually keeping track of. So panels can allow us to do this. Well, I'm going to set a panel object, or at least a panel, that's going to be the, the variable that I'll keep track of all this with. And the function that we use to create a panel is very simple. It's new underscore panel. Now, for an argument, it takes the window that we're looking at. So there it is, and our panel has been created. Boom, there it is. But if I run this, we don't get to see anything. Huh. Okay. So what I want to stress to you guys is that whenever we create a panel, or even when we're, whenever we modify a panel, a panel, sorry, whenever we change anything in a window that a panel is containing, because we actually have to modify the window first, not the panel, because the panel is just the, the block or the cube that, that keeps track of it, it's just what displays it, it's, it's a little container. What we have to do if we want to update or we want to see any changes is we have to do just that. We have to update. So this is done by a, a pair of functions. So the first one is very easy, update panels. And uh, the following is um, do update. Now that doesn't have an underscore. So that might, that might be a little hard to keep track of in your mind, update panels with an underscore and do update without an underscore. But hey, I'm, I'm sure once you're working with NCurses for a whole lot more, you're going to be able to figure it out and keep track of it in your mind. Now, let's go ahead and run this program. Hey YouTube, there it is. There's our panel. It's, it's visible. So what can I do with this? Um, how about let's add a box to our window. Let's uh, move the cursor 1-1 one, one so we can still see our, um, our thing here, our text. We run this, panels has been created, okay. Now we've got our box. Hey YouTube, what's up? Alright, cool. So you can see that this is down at the fourth um, column, fourth line, that sort of thing. But let's say we wanted to move it. And typically we can't really move windows, but we can, however, move panels. This is very easy. It's very simple. What we have to do is move uh, underscore panel. 
And I'm doing a terrible job typing today, so we'll pass in our panel that we're looking at, and then we can change the new coordinates. Let's say it'll be um, 10 down and 30 to the right. Now, if I run this, it's no longer where it was initially. It's all the way over here. But let's keep an eye on this. This is happening only before we've actually updated the screen. If I move the move panel function to down after that, well, let's see what happens. We don't even get to see freaking anything. Okay, we actually have to make sure we update the panel. Let's bring that right down here. In fact, we don't even need this old one. This is going to have the exact same effect as we just saw, but there it is. What if we actually were to put in update panels and do update in our game loop, or in the actual programming loop? If I put it right down here in our, in our while loop, make sure all the white space matches up. We can take a look at this. The first thing that happens, we don't see anything, but that's because it's running the getch function first, and then if we actually if we press any buttons, we can see our panel. Okay. So that's kind of a, a, a funky way to do it, though, because we, we actually have to press a key before everything actually loads, so to speak, where we actually get to see things. So you might want to run it first, and then keep it updated while you're updating your game, but typically you're only going to want to update the panels and show an update if something has happened, if, if there's been a change. All right. Now, I, I introduced the idea to you guys earlier that if we had multiple windows, that we weren't going to be able to see them. Now, with panels, that's easier to do. I'm going to create a new window. I'll call mine Window 2. Um, box Window 2. Move the Window 2. Blah, blah, blah. This is Win 2. Alright. Now let's create a new panel for this one. Panel 2 is going to be a new panel for Window 2. Now, I'm not going to bother moving this one. It's just going to still be displayed there. And I'll take away this update panels in the game loop because I don't really want to waste our memory or at least any other time that we press other keys. It's just unnecessary. Okay, now if I run this... Oh, I have a problem. My string literal did not stop. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. If I run this, now you can see this is Win 2 right up here where it should be, and hey YouTube, that other panel, that window, essentially they're, they're the same thing, remember, the panel is just a container for the window, that it's, 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 the window is inside of that, it's keeping track of it, that's all the way down here where we moved it to. So let's say I moved this to 5, 5, actually let's make it 6, 6 and I didn't actually move the initial panel, so now they're practically going to be on top of each other. We can see this is Win2 and hey YouTube. Well, okay, I, I, I didn't actually do that very well. Let's keep it at 5.5. Five. Now if I run this, this is Win2 and you can see that it's covering up the other panel. It's, it's actually keeping track of the panel that's below it and it's still displaying what's uh, above it. Now, we can sort of modify this. We can actually s use some functions to test what is above and what is below each panel, and we can actually move the panels up and down in the, in the stack, or the depth sort of list. So, there are panels, there are functions to do this called top panel, and uh, this will make it, this will make the, the, pa the panel that we pass into it become the top panel. So, if I wanted to do this, we saw that window is the one that was behind our window 2, so, let's bring that to the top, and uh, let me get out of there. I'll save this, sorry. Run it. Ooh, I've got an issue here. Window. Okay, what's the problem? Return panel top, attribute panel top. Ba 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 ba. Right, 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 I passed in the window, I should have been passing in the panel. Okay, so that's kind of a thing that you should keep in mind, guys. If you're working with panels and windows, make sure you don't get yourself confused between each panel and each different window. I'm going to have to uh, reset my shell now. Okay. I'll run the program, and you can see, hey, YouTube is now at the top, rather than window 2. So, we've moved our panels. You can do this with um, bottom panel as well. And that'll move things down to the very the bottom of the stack. And um, you can test what is below. Panel below. That's a function. 
you can actually just look at panel underscore and then see the list of things that you can do inside, uh, at least with the, the unit cursors module. So you can return the window that each panel is looking at, um, you can hide panels, you can move them, you can have them be shown again, you can test what's above or below each specific one, and uh, that sort of thing. So panels are so great because they make our programs more versatile and we can do more with them. So we could essentially put a player in a room and have it be displayed like he's on top of the room, like he, he's on top of carpet, that sort of thing, and we could have walls all around him, that sort of thing. We have options here. Panels are really kind of nice because we don't have to actually keep track of every character that is on top of or below another character on our screen. Okay, <laughs> that's all that I wanted to show you for this video, guys. I know I, it's kind of lengthy, but there's a, there's a lot to cover, and panels are really, really exciting. But just keep in mind that the function is new panel, and you're going to want to keep track of that, and the, the functions that you need to know to update the screen or actually display things are update underscore panels followed by do update. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go now. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please comment, maybe like, maybe subscribe. I don't know. It's whatever you'd like to do. But uh, thanks again, and I will talk to you in another tutorial. Bye.